Hey, how is everybody doing today? This is the spotlight and this is episode number three. It is a pleasure to see you. This is the show where we get to invite local event organizers here in Puerto Vallarta to join us and tell us what they're up to, what kind of events they have planned. And as always, I'm excited to see you. My name is Paco. I am the host of Coffee and Headlines in the Mornings. And today we have not one, not two, but we have three guests that are going to tell us about their events. And we are going to start with Miguel Maldonado, who reached out to me and told me that he wanted to promote an event that has to do with music. I am going to invite him here to the stage, and here he is. Miguel, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm so grateful that you're here to tell us about your event. But before you tell us about your event, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing? Oh, well, I'm nice to meet you guys. I'm Miguel Maldonado. I'm part of the staff of the organizers from this party. Uh, myself, I'm a photographer. I'm a music producer. I'm a DJ also. I'm part of Sintoma. That is one of the of the staff that is involved in this event and future events. And pretty much that's it. I have 25 years living in town, so I'm pretty much a local. And we're trying to, or well, at least myself, trying to to share with with uh, the town or town uh, what I, what I do. Excellent. So you're going to tell us about a party that I understand takes place this, takes place this weekend. Tell me about the party. Oh, yeah. The, this party is called Syntaxis. Uh, it's the 30th uh, of March, Saturday. starts at uh, 8. The music starts at 8 and ends up uh, the Sunday at 3 p.m. We have, wow. We have like uh, 14 DJs and showing up. Uh, there's there's our our main uh, uh, guy. It's from from Spain. It's a producer and a DJ. Uh, from there, there's uh, DJs from Guadalajara, from Leon, and local DJs also. So it's a dance party. Where is it gonna yeah. be? Uh, the place is it's called uh, Rancho Madre Tierra. It's near Campo Verde on our way to uh, Mojoneras. It's like 15 minutes from downtown Tops. Uh, it's a nice place. We, we also will, we want to um, have uh, a Temas Call session. We will have uh, ice baths, uh, yoga class, and we are working together with uh, Mano, uh Art Bazaar or Art Market. And they will be showing up uh, artists and artisans uh, selling their stuff from, if I'm not wrong, from 9 to, th to 3 on the morning and day of the Sunday. Oh, wow. So you're doing this with Josh and Lucy. They are good friends of mine. Yeah, mine too. Excellent. So I see I see that Josh is watching. He says, hey, it's in taxes. My art is going to be on display all yeah. over this place. Yeah. So, the, the, so, so you are the, let me, let me see if I understand this. You are the party side of what Josh and Lucy are doing with Echo Amano? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We, we joined forces to to because we have like a, a, a main um, side into what what we're looking for, and we're trying to work to the, together to to bring our our best from both of us, and and share with with the community, right? So Josh is the is the manager of decoration. Pretty much all his art will be displayed on on the party, and and yes, we are we are like working together to to have a great party today, well, uh, Sunday, Saturday. Saturday, okay. So you have a number of DJs. For people that don't know what type of music, is it all electronic dance music or yes. other genres? Uh, the, the main genre in this party, it will be minimal techno. So everything will be coming from minimal deep tech, minimal techno, minimal deep house, all that kind of, of music. Yes, obviously, dance music, and will be, like, great. Tell me something, Miguel. For those people that don't know exactly what goes on in these events, let's say that I am a newbie, I've never been 
what what can I expect? What is going to be attractive to me at this party? Uh, well, well, mainly the music is music out out of 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 any that is like the normal uh, type of music that you will hear. Uh, we're trying to bring uh, DJs and artists that that are, are sharing their their music, their taste of music, that it's a bit like um, eclectic, a different point of view of music. It's not it's not like uh, the regular uh, popular music or electronic music, popular electronic music that you hear in the in the bar or in the disco, right? So it will be like really um, deep music, really uh, per se psychedelic music. Uh, and pretty much that's the, our main uh, objective, right? Uh, mix mix the music with with or by um, trying to give give them the experience of the old school parties, uh, the the plural scene that it's peace, love, unity, and respect. And instead of just going to an event, uh, make connections with people that. At the end, will be friend, be your friends instead of just um, someone. It's, it's unknown to you. That's wonderful. Now you sent me the link where people can find out more information yes. and where people can purchase tickets. Um, I will be sharing that with the viewers at the end of the broadcast. But and you also mentioned that you had something that you would be able to give away. What would that be? I, I can give you five giveaways. To the people that is watching us, uh, we just need we just need full names. I mean, they, they can give you their full name, and just to add it into the guest list, and and we can also for the people that that watch us after, uh, we will have uh, uh, on the Evan Bright side. You can you can uh, write a promo code that that will be Paco Heda, and then we have a discount there, or just. Bane on the on the entrance of the band and say that you hear about the band from Paco Heda and they will have a discount discount uh, there. That's really wonderful. May I make a suggestion? Just yes. because not everybody will remember my last name, may I suggest that the coupon says only Paco? Yeah, whatever you say, whatever you Because say. that way, that way people that are interested will be able to take advantage of it. Let us see if there, this is really generous of you. I really appreciate it. I see some people. I wonder if anybody has any questions for, for, for Miguel. And uh, while we do this, let us think of a good word for a giveaway. For yeah. Let me think. What about... Uh, okay. Anybody that is interested in uh, 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 a free entrance, free ticket to go to this party on Saturday, just write the word disco on yeah. your comment and we'll do a little giveaway. And uh, here's a question from a viewer. Lars is asking, what is the best way to get to the event? Uh, well, the, the easiest is, is a Uber ride. So in case you're you're drinking, you don't have to to drive back drunk. But uh, there's there's in the Evan Bright side, there will be routes from different places on Google Google Maps. So you can just uh, press the link, and they will drive you up to to the place. It's really far, it's really close to to Vallarta. It's, it's not that far. Excellent. Well, don't be offended if I don't see a lot of names or a lot of people saying disco, because again, we have a number of people watching from elsewhere, but I see that one person has written. So I, I cannot do, I cannot do the giveaway tool with only one name, but I'm going to say that Pat Reese, who is the one person that mentioned disco is the person that will get uh, this oh there's another person okay so now we have to do we have to do this hold on just a second let me see if I can bring in the giveaway tool aha so let me just write disco and let us start doing this and see what we can do hold on let's draw with the word disco and it's only Pat and in Lars, and I see that the winner is Pat Reese. Pat Reese 
gets the giveaway of a free okay. ticket to come and enjoy. I mean, uh, I, I can give I can give both. It's okay. Okay. The whole, the whole point of the party is it's make a community of people with with the same interest in music and share by instead of just being an uh, unknown people. Excellent. Well, we have two names. I will send you the names via email so you can have them. Um, do you have anything to add about your event? Anything that is really important that people know? Uh, well, that that first they will they will um, be uh, having a, a really nice experience with with a lot of, of people that that is trying to to from us to share our best and to to make grow a community of electronic music scene that that I guess is missing nowadays here in Vallarta. And and from there, from that side, it's, it's that that's it. But uh, just to remember that if they're they're showing up at the party, we just accept cash, and they they should bring some some sweater. It will be cold at night, and maybe a box spray or something because there will be like mosquitoes around. And that's it. Oh yeah, uh, it's free water for everyone. They, we, we will not charge for water, so they will need to bring uh, a cup or or um, um, uh, something to to have water for free there. So I guess pretty much everything else that that any any uh, question that they they may have, they can send us a message message at, at the Instagram of the Syntaxis Party or to the main event, and we will uh, answer back uh, shortly. Excellent, Miguel. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here at the Spotlight. This is tu casa. Any time you want to come back and promote whatever event you're organizing we're, here in we're Puerto Vallarta. Another, we're having Until, another party the 28th. Oh, of when? 20, 28th of April. I mean, we, we can uh, schedule another uh, interview to bring more details. But Please. Right now, we are, we're having a, a Colombian DJ this time. Oh, wow. No, feel free to come back whenever you have something that you want to alert people. I am hoping that the more we do this program, the more people talk about it, the more people will watch and the better we will do at connecting event organizers like you with the rest of the population. Yes, obviously. Miguel, thank you so much for joining thank me today. Um, feel free to watch the rest of the broadcast or if you want to get on with your day, that'll be fine. I will connect with you later on in the afternoon with everything okay. that we discussed. Okay, if any anyone else wants uh, uh, the, the free access uh, during your show, it's okay. I mean, we already have five, so you can you can manage to, to give, a, give make the giveaway whatever you, or however you want to do it. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again, Miguel. Mucha You're suerte. Welcome. I hope you have a great event. I am going to see Lucy and Josh at their Echo a Mano on Friday nice. morning. I don't know if you're going to be there, but... Um, I may not. I have to make all the whole logistics of the band there. But also, I forget to tell you, uh, you can have a free access too for yourself. If you want to join us, feel free to come. Thank you very much. I'll check. I have no idea what's going on this weekend, but if I can, I'll be very happy to be there. Thank you. Miguel, hasta pronto. Bye-bye. And we'll, we'll be in touch. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And that was easy. Yay. So we have one down. If anybody wants dance music or enjoys that kind of party, we have a party to go to. And guess what? Our other two guests have to do with with dancing as well. And yes, they are sitting in the living room. Come on, come over, come on over. I have wonderful friends here. I have Michelle sitting over here Hola. and I have Memo sitting over here. These are good friends of mine. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys to like lean in up to the microphone yeah. so that everybody can hear what we're doing. Um, and I want to start with you Memo, no, you Memo over yeah. here. <laughs> Because I talk about you frequently in coffee and headlines, Memo Lira has, and we'll get to you in a second, Mitchell. Memo Lira has a wonderful website, Vallarta 101, where he does tours around the city, including some funky headphone tours. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing in the city, Memo? Well, um, first of all, thank you for having us. It's great to be here. Um, well, you 
as many of you may know, um, some most of the tours that I do are food tours. I started about 12 years ago. Um, oh, oh my God, almost 12 years ago, doing food tours originally, taco tours, seafood tours, chocolate tours, breakfast tours. And how and you're still doing that, oh, right? I'm still doing that. And uh, how many tours are you doing? Um, I have about 20 different tours that I run. Yes, most of them food related. Uh huh. And I, a few years ago, I thought I should start doing something else. And it was actually during the pandemic when I had the idea to start doing the silent disco tours. The silent disco tours. So tour. now it's a variety of different cultural and uh, food tours. Okay, I know Around you're here time. because we talked about this. We actually talk about these things ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I know you're here to talk about the silent disco tour, but I want to really, I want to squeeze you. Okay. Because I've loved what you're doing. I run... I. I run into Memo, I run into you on the street, and I always give you shit because you're walking with all your little uh, tourists. And I always like to say, like, you know, don't trust this guy. He's, mm. he's not to be trusted. But you are one of the most trustworthy tour guides that I've met here in the city. What has your experience been like working with tourists all these years? Uh, wonderful. Wonderful, really. Um, I always say that the people who come on my tours are people who actually want to come on my tours. They're not the regular tourists. Oh, so they're voyagers. Yes. They, there are people who are into food, who are into culture, uh, who have done their research and they have found out about me and the tours. I don't even know where the people come from, I have to say. I'm, I'm very surprised. Mm -hmm. People tell me that I'm all over TikTok well, and Reddit, and I really didn't, don't, haven't even been on TikTok. You do all kinds of, of promotion. You have a beautiful website, which mm -hmm. we will share in whenever we, we publish this uh to to our friends and you also do a lot of promotion on facebook yes i do and uh i don't have to do that much because i have a lot of friends that help me do that well friends who have been on my tours before consider me one of those friends yes, I do. now back to your visitors and, and the people that you cater to what are the most interesting assumptions that people have about Puerto Vallarta that you have had to dispel? Like what, what, what do people imagine that is going on here? What kind of questions that you get that are just, what are you thinking? Well, you know, in the past, at the beginning, when I started, people used to ask basically what most uh, North American visitors ask about Mexico. Is it safe? Is the water okay? Can I brush my teeth and open my mouth when I take a shower? <laughs> uh, Seriously? It, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, is it safe? I remember being sitting down having breakfast one day and the church starts throwing the cannons, you know, the Jesus bombs. And then they go under the table and they think, oh my God, it's it is it a bomb? You know, that kind of thing. That used to happen. I think it's not happening so much anymore. I think people are starting to understand that Mexico is actually a beautiful, safe, country. loud, bombastic. Yeah, well, every <laughs> now and then, every now and then we have that. But as I was saying before, I think that most of the people that come on my tours are actually great travelers that want to come and experience the culture, try the food, get immersed into the Mexican neighborhoods. I don't consider myself a tour guide, really. I consider myself an ambassador of my town, of my city. I live in the neighborhood that I show. I even take people to my house, showing my dogs. You are better than me. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know that I want to have all kinds of people visiting me here well, at, at my house, but I appreciate that. Well, you know, I don't actually take them into my house, but I, I you know, walk them by my house <laughs> and uh, take them to places where I eat. So everywhere I take you or everything I show you is actually true it is what i eat every day it is what i do every day and that shows and the people um understand it and that's why they come back there's a question from joe willis what is your most that's a good question what is your most popular tour my taco tour the taco tour I actually can you describe it brief tours. you have four different taco tours yeah. no mames <laughs> yes. wow well, you know there are so many tacos that you can have that i decided to divide the taco tours into uh, different kinds. Yeah. I actually call my tours kind of like university courses. So mm -hmm. I have Taco 101, 
Taco 201, Taco 301. Taco I love it. Then you get a diploma when you. I love it. You do all the Come tacos. closer, puppy. I'm sorry. Yes, no, I know I'm getting out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I should go like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so Taco 101, 102, 103, 104. Yes, I have a seafood tour, uh, uh, chocolate tour, but my most popular tour has always been my taco tour. What makes because you're not the only person doing tours, and we're good. We'll, we're going to get to Mitchell. Mitchell has been smiling, he's been behaving very nicely. We'll get to Mitchell in a second. Thank you. What, what makes what sets your tours aside? Because there's other there are other people doing oh, yeah. this kind of experience. Yeah, why should anyone book with you? Well, all the other companies are great, they have great guides, they have amazing tours. Uh, the city, the neighborhoods make it easy for us because there's great food and there's business for everyone. But what mm -hmm. I think makes me different, this is not a normal tour. I don't think I'm a tour guide. I think I'm an ambassador to my town. So it's a low key, private, very, very small groups, five, six people at the most. It doesn't look like you're on a tour. It looks like you're with a friend walking around the neighborhood, uh, meeting new people i introduce you to the owners of the places you know most of the people i've done my uh, statistics come back to these places i run into my guests eating at the same places the very next day i take them on tour as well as i run into people that i took out 10 years ago wow. eating at the same places so it's the fact that people feel like a, they're visiting a friend and that's what i want them to feel that's what i want them to believe Excellent. And it's actually true because we become friends. What I tell them is true. And I think that's what sets me apart from the others. Excellent. Well, speaking of friends, and let me move this over here for a second. Speaking of friends, you guys are collaborating on something that we'll get to hear about in a second. But first, Mitchell, how are you? Well, how are you? I'm doing good. How did good. you meet this crazy man over here? How did we meet? Uh, I believe uh, through uh, mutual friends on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we got like uh, Facebook recommendations. And then like everybody else, I saw Memo on the streets all the time. Yes, he's difficult <laughs> to miss. Now, tell us a little bit about what you are doing on your own because you're a performer here in Puerto Vallarta. Yes, I am a drag queen. Yay. I dress up as a beautiful woman or inspired by beautiful women out there. And I, I go on stage and I sing. I'm more of a musical experience. Yeah. I like to, you know, just uh, sing great music and have a party with you all. Also celebrate because many of you are celebrating in your, uh, when you go out and birthdays, anniversaries, all that. Excellent. So what is your drag name? My name is Karma D.A. Bitch, Karma the Bitch, or Karma la Perra. So karma la Perra mm -hmm. in Spanish, Karma the Bitch, and in Karma is a bitch. Well, it depends. If you're good, she's good. Oh. If you're bad, she's bad. I love it. And wh where can we see Karma la Perra? Where can we see Karma the Bitch these days? You can catch her at the Blue Cheers every... Uh, Monday and Saturday, also at La Noche Bar, Monday and Saturday as well. Mm -hmm. And you, do you do actual singing or do you lip sync? I do live singing. I have a repertoire of uh, around 300 songs of all genres, rap, pop, disco, um, you name it. Excellent. So if you were to think of a drag queen that really inspires you, whether it's a local drag queen or an internationally renowned drag queen, who would that be? I'm gonna go more local because the there's a batch of drag queens of Puerto Vallarta that basically opened the way for all of us younger generations. And they're still around and they inspire me so much because most of them are just like the best people and they have great values. They know how to work. And I, I've learned so much from them. So direct inspiration is my ants i call them uh -huh. mis tias. Uh, and so so you you call all of them your tias or Thank do you have you. a specific tia that is i love angie star i love diva divine um my sisters miss peaches all the girls from la noche bar check mm -hmm. us out mm -hmm. oh and we don't charge for our show so there's a free entrance for you what would you say 
to a person that has not gone to a drag show like yours here in Puerto Vallarta? What would you say to them to make them feel like comfortable or that they're going to have a good time? Or do you ever deal with, with audiences that are apprehensive? Yes, but I always tell them nothing bad is going to happen unless, <laughs> you <want> to. <laughs> unless you want to. We can talk, but that's after the show. Okay. Now, the two of you got here together because I happen to know that you have embarked in a new Vallarta 101 experience. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. Um, this season, after a few years of uh, waiting, we finally decided to launch the Silent Disco Walks. Silent uh, Disco Walks. Yeah. In other parts of the world called Silent Disco Tours. Mm -hmm. This is something that has been going on for a few years in Europe, in London, in Madrid, also in Australia, a few other cities. Uh, never, as far as I know, in Mexico. Uh, I think they started doing it in the States a couple of years ago, but not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, what is a silent disco walk? Yes. It is a walk. It is a tour where we provide everyone headphones, wireless headphones, and everyone listens to the same playlist. We play music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, as well as uh, the host who has a mic. So you listen to the music. And you listen to the host's uh, commentary. And we sing and dance like no one is watching and no one is listening on the streets and we do, at sunset time. And we do some happenings during the way. Okay. Let me get this <laughs> straight. No pun intended. <laughs> That's after the show. I am wearing headphones. Right. Walking around the city, mm -hmm. listening to music, mm -hmm. dancing to the tunes. Mm -hmm. Listening to the narrative. Listening to the narrative, not caring about what people might say. Right. Even if you're shy. Once you put on the headphones, it all goes away. Well, I know that because I've done that. Do you know what my biggest concern is? Mm -hmm. and, and I think people will want to know because I'm of a certain age in mm -hmm. which... I fall. Mm -hmm. We all do. You know, I fall. <laughs> and the thought of walking around cobblestone streets while I'm dancing to the beat, wearing my headphones, I'm not worried about people taking photographs of me. I'm just worried about, uh-oh, Mitchell has a comment. Um, well, going to that, one of the reasons that I think Memo and his company, Vallarta 101, is so amazing is that they go beyond expectation. Um, they don't just go 100%, they go 101%. And uh, for this project, I, I already knew that Memo was uh, good at handling people and his guests and his, his frequent... Uh, um, my taco uh, guests, my uh, guests. return guests. customers, Your yeah, guests, return exactly. customers. Yes. So for this, he made a specific trail uh, so that we wouldn't think about, uh, you know, having some accidents. We, he looked into that so we can uh, just avoid all that type of worrying for the guests. We don't actually walk on the cobblestone. What part we, of town do you do this in? We don't cross the street. We start at Kuala Island cultural center mm -hmm. on the actual island at the very end mm -hmm. where we start doing our dancing. We do a little bit of practice. Then we walk through the island, you know, and through nature, you know, we enjoy the gardens and uh, then we end up on the Malecon. Uh -huh. We walk a little bit on the Malecon. Then we go down to the beach a little bit, take a break, enjoy some more music, watch the sunset. Then we keep going all the way to Lazaro Cardenas Park. Wonderful. Which means we don't really walk on cobblestone. We don't really cross the streets. Plus, there's staff following us and taking care of the people. So I can get stoned and I won't stumble. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yes, actually, it's recommended. <laughs> um, so you can have a much better time. But you don't need to because the music is your uh, all you need. The music I love is all it. you need. I love it. And karma's commentary. Oh, that's right. <laughs> of course, because because... This is a part that we haven't connected. Karma the bitch comes out to lead or, or to... Yeah, she is the host of the party. 
uh, we do some really fabulous happenings, happening um, something here, something there, something there while we're walking our trajectory. And it's gonna be amazing. You have to go. We, we're gonna have, uh, we have some uh, special gifts we wanna give out. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Oh, definitely, definitely. Let me see if I see any questions that might be interesting. Uh, every question is interesting. What am I talking about? Joe says, Paco, your audio is good, but your video is in a loop. If that is a pun related to my little thing in the bottom, I will take that as a pun. Other than that, I sure hope, Joe, that you are not in some kind of internet vortex that I cannot control. Are we looping? Are we looping? Well, we can loop, but I don't think that's what we're here for. Let's see. I love the private touring, says Paula. And then Karen, who's a great friend, says, your tours are on my bucket list for, for October. I have taken a tour with Memo when he ha was working for a previous company. And I can vouch that Memo is a most amazing tour guide and storyteller. Here's a question from Paula. If, if I'm a person that has had much of the food in PV, what would be the best tour to expand my tastes? Well, Many people believe that they have had a lot of the best food in PV, and it's in part true, but there's much more. Oh, I know. There's much, much That's more. why I'm not touching that one. <laughs> that's why I say, come on any taco tour and you'll see, you'll find things that you have never seen. But we're constantly, and I say we because there's a few other people who help me, we're constantly looking for more. Mm -hmm. We constantly go to restaurants, we get invited to restaurants a lot, and uh, we come up with new tours. Here. And uh, there's also a breakfast tour that I do, breakfast mm -hmm. and, and, and a historic walk, which many people love because it's not just about the food, it's about the ex cultural experience. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. Um, there's another question here. This is obvious to me, but maybe not to people. Do you accompany the people on the tour? You are still your own. Yes, yes, of course. I'm gig. still there. You're the only tour guide for uh, Bayarta I have a few friends who help me okay. every now and then. Mm -hmm. I try to do most of the tours and give personalized attention to them. Mm -hmm. it, has, it, it has to do with making them feel uh, that they're with a friend and making them feel confident. So yes, I take care of everything. That's wonderful. And and Karen and I were thinking about the same thing. You answered my question and you will catch us if we fall. No, we actually will not fall. No. And that is that is, uh, that is is what's gonna happen. Karma is constantly reminding you, watch your step, do not do this, be careful. We're constantly taking care of you. We, yes. we make sure you're hydrated and have some water. Make sure you bring a lot of water because we want you to feel feel good as you mentioned before you can do whatever you want before the tour and then make it happen also karma is a very fashionable lady or ladylike thing and uh, well she's very fashionable so uh just it says it in the invitation wear your best garments <laughs> your yeah best we clothes. want you all to I, come wearing oh fabulous comfortable shoes uh-huh and and clothing but so some accessories or a something statement will make, it, make yes, it feel yes, more fun of yeah. course yeah. now when is this silent disco tour happening well we're gonna have a spring run we call it that we are formally starting next week mm -hmm. every tuesday and thursday at 6 30 p.m it's going to be a sunset uh experience uh tomorrow thursday we actually have a preview test run so it starts tomorrow. We're going to start tomorrow and then the next uh, Tuesday and then next Thursday for two weeks, uh, for two months. Basically, the month of April and May, we're going to end up, we're going to end uh, the season, the first uh, run with a gay pride uh, special silent disco walk. Oh, I love it. Uh, and hopefully continue um, after the rains and after the heat uh in october november december paula is getting desperate <laughs> she says i need his website so let's just write it in a comment it's www.vallarta101.com easy you can also find us on facebook on instagram on google as vallarta 101 excellent 
Excellent. Yeah. Well, the website has been posted. We will provide a lot of other information. But first, do we have something special that we might be able to give away today? Yeah, why don't you? What do we have? Yes, we have five, five, five spots for two people each. So it's like two <gasps> double tickets. Yeah, two double tickets for 10 per person. Five, five double tickets. Five double for, for the silent disco? For the silent or, disco. Or for any tour? For silent disco. For silent for disco. Silent for disco. silent disco. Okay. Um, for tomorrow, if anybody wants to attend the preview tomorrow, okay, uh, just you know, let us know, Paco. Mm -hmm. Well, and, we're gonna uh, do it oh. in a second. Let us think of a good hashtag. Let us use the word. What did we use before? We no. use disco. Or no, wait, let's use something else. <laughs> let's use drag. Okay. Anybody that is interested in a double pass, a double ticket, ticket for two people, and we're gonna have five of those mm -hmm. anytime. Uh, Paula says, could I use it in February of 2025? Sure. Why not? Why not? Okay. So anybody that is interested in, uh, in, in, you can use it whenever you want, Paula. I'm looking at your question. You can wait until February 2025. Anybody that is interested in the silent disco tour, I want to go. I want to go. I cannot participate in the giveaway, but I want to go and I will go. I want to know anybody wants to go and do this, just write the word drag in your comment and we will do some giveaways right here. How exciting. Drag. Okay, we're going to get we're going to let some time go by while you're writing the word drag. Yes. Now that you mention it, uh, may I say something? Everything, um, anything. Uh, Karma is going to be hosting the silent disco every Thursday at 6.30, but also Mitchell is going to be hosting the silent disco on Tuesdays. So it's not necessarily a queer drag queen event. And we know that we do this because we have uh, had feedback from people who, you know, are intimidated by uh, the, the presence beauty. of a drag queen. <laughs> and... Uh, so we want it to be for families also. You can bring your kids up to uh, up to um, hi, um, higher than 12. I don't know how to say that. Uh, older than 12. Older than, older than, than, 12. Older than 12. <laughs> and I mean, if they can enjoy the music, uh, yes. maybe they want to come on Tuesdays. So Tuesdays, it's going to be friendly. family friendly. Family friendly by Mitchell, hosted by Mitchell and myself when Mitchell doesn't want to do it. <laughs> and uh, Thursdays, Thursdays is karma. Is karma. Excellent. Excellent. So Two months. there you have it. You have two different flavors for the silent disco tour wearing headphones. Uh, Joshua, who I love, Josh says, I'm definitely higher than 12. And I know exactly what you mean. Um, I have I have seen you higher than 12. <laughs> no, actually, I don't know if I have. Anyhow, let's get going with these uh, with these. Um, with these giveaway, we're going to do five different giveaways and I'll bring in the giveaway screen onto the computer. Um, I also want to know if anybody has any other questions for these two wonderful friends and wonderful guests. And while that is happening, I am going to do the first giveaway of five for two people and we start collecting comments and... Look oh at that. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. The first double goes to Rene Biondo. Yay! Bravo. Okay. So that is the very first one. Let me draw again. And the second one goes to Frank Bowden. Wonderful. So that's two. Let's try again for the third one. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> and the third one goes to Josh, Josh Shalotl Art. Congratulations. Bravo. Two more to go. Yay. And this one goes to. Paula, Paula Pearson. Excellent, Paula. I can see you. I can see you dancing the night away. I love it. 
And the last one goes to, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Sherry Sorry. Cooper. Oh my God, I can see Sherry Cooper doing this. It's gonna be really, really funny. I love it. So we have all these wonderful treats. It is such a pleasure to have you guys here. Thank you. Thank you um, for having us. Do you have any parting comments, com questions, ideas that you wish to share with I, anyone? I actually, yeah, um, would like to say um, for those of you who didn't get a, a double ticket mm -hmm. and you want to attend the preview tomorrow, uh, there's 40% off. Okay. This 40% off available at the website. There's a code which you can enter and get 40% off. Plus, all locals, uh, living, everyone living in Puerto Vallarta has also 40% off forever. Wow. Uh, any, for any day, any date, any time, there's a code on the website, Yo Soy Local, which they can enter and get 40% off. Because we want people who live here to come and use this as a way to express themselves, have fun, forget their problems. So uh, if it's not tomorrow, it's next week, you, you still get a discount. And um, 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 about my other tours, I, we didn't give any give, uh, giveaway for the other tours because uh, all of my food tours are pay what you want tours. You don't need to pay anything Oh uh, wow! in advance. Uh, you just go uh, do the tour, pay for the tour and pay whatever you want at the end of the tour. So anytime you want to, um, yeah, um, they're available. So that I is wonderful news. Money. That's a treat. Well, there you have it, friends. This has been our latest spotlight. This is episode three of what I hope will be a lot, many episodes. I want to thank you both, Memo Gracias. and Michel, for coming. And I want to thank you in advance for spreading the word. If you know Gracias. of any local event organizers that want to toot their horn, for sure. you know, this is a comfortable place to do it. There is a lot of, there are a lot of people out there that want to find out more about who the people are be, behind these events. And I think I couldn't think of two more trustworthy individuals oh, for this it. adventure. Thank you for having us. Audience, thank you very much for joining us for another edition of the Spotlight. Please spread the word. We are doing this for free. We are here to support everyone that wants to come live with us or maybe visit my living room. So please help me spread the word. And we'll be back tomorrow morning for more coffee and headlines. And we'll be back a week from today for episode number four. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.